Now, I am a new age editor. I help e-com businesses make videos online that makes people take action and buy something, which is why I get paid the big bucks. Now, as a new age video editor, there are four skills that you will need to master to get to the point where you can officially call yourself a new age editor. I'm not gonna leave this video until you know all four. So, number one is the laws of marketing. What if you guys think you know marketing? Oh yeah, I, I know marketing. It's like uh, web pages and sales sites. No, those are tools for marketing. Knowing the actual laws of marketing are very important. Now, where are you gonna learn this? There's a book called The 22 Irrepeatable Laws of Marketing. I read it in one day. And you can probably read it faster because I'm a very slow reader. But there's two specific laws that I want you to learn in that one. The first one, the law of leadership, which states that it's better to be the first in something than to be the better option. A lot of you guys think that, oh, I just become the best editor ever. And to be honest, you're not gonna stand against people who were there first, who are doing things first, specifically for a client. So instead, you need to apply law two. Law two is the law of category. If you cannot be the first in something, short form content editor, you can be short form content editor that only does map animations or you can be the best short form content editor that only does videos that are five seconds long and you can sell these things now these are this is one of these are two of 22 laws that you need to completely understand because so many guys they go into video editing they make videos for a client client doesn't get results and they go oh i don't get it like why does this not work and then you are the one to blame where you can actually upskill your knowledge here and become a better marketer which is exactly what you are you need to understand something as well. Businesses actually need your service so they can grow. You are not here and the business is there. Without you, the business does not have the ability to get attention. And as a result, doesn't have the ability to make money. If you can help the business make money, you will also make money. Okay, the next skill that you need to learn as a new age video editor is the skill of storytelling. Now, read this book. It's called Building a Story Brand. This book will ruin watching any film you ever watch ever again because it pretty much spoils every single story arc for every film. Every blockbuster does it, every TV show does it, every good YouTuber does it. And you can do this with just your editor by doing something very important, right? Something very key in your videos, that is called building tension. You can build tension with, with sound effect, music, with the cuts, with the pacing of your videos. So many ways that you can build tension. But what tension does is that tension is what comes in between a main character and their goal. If they can get through to something with tension, it becomes an interesting story. Now this is in simple terms, what makes a very simple story. For example, you wanna make a video for a gardener. Okay, so a gardener, this is a pot, and here's like, Flower. Gardener, they want to make a really cool garden. A really cool garden, and they want to make a video of how they make their garden. What most people do is they go, yeah, this is how you, I make a really cool garden that looks like this. That's it, that's the video. And they get like 300 views. And you get blamed for it. You get blamed for it because you edited the video. That's what a new age editor does. They teach them, right? They show the gardener how to do it. And they say, I want to build this really cool garden, but I have some issues with the compost. I have some issues with the soil. I'm also getting slugs and bugs and weeds. And I need to show you how I can fix that. I also don't have space for these plants that are gonna grow too big. So I need to do this. And the seeds are not gonna be able to grow in this climate. But once I figured that out, boom, I am now at this goal. You build tension, you create a story, a mini story, right? This could be 30 seconds, right? around this and people will stick longer for this. Some of the best videos with the most views have a very short story of somebody wanting to get their goal, but all of this in here is madness up and down tension. Now in the book, Building a Story Brand, he teaches it by showing you that you can have a main character that has a problem and then they meet a guide who then has a plan, right? And the plan calls them to action and that takes them to the success top of the mountain. Or they have an issue, they never make it to the top. That is essentially what every film blockbuster does. So that's story. Read the book, then come back to me asking questions as to how I should edit like that, and I make a video about it. And by the way, every good story that I've ever made, every video that's got me hundreds of thousands of views, always had tension. Even in my tutorial videos, when I was doing editing tutorials, I was building tension by saying, if you do this thing, this step, oh, this happens, which means I can't get to the next stage, so I've got to solve a problem. Okay, next, another skill that you need to learn as a new age video editor is the skill of copywriting. It's all good you know how to tell a story and it's all good you've been able to understand the laws of marketing, but if you can't write it in a persuasive way, if you can't use text that's persuasive, if you can't wade your client why they need you, and if you can't help them write 
caption and call to actions that actually make people take action, none of this will take them anywhere. Copywriting is a language of sales. But using psychology to make somebody do something. This book here, Cashvertising, will tell you everything you need to know about copywriting in a nutshell. There are lots of other books. I will start with this. Simple, it's easy to read, and it gives you actual frameworks that I personally use when I make ads for my clients. One of my favorite frameworks, the eight life forces. There are eight reasons why people have desires, okay? Eight different ones. One is sexual companionship, right? So for example, I want to get a really nice, really nice necklace, right? Why? Not because you just want a nice necklace. Maybe you think it makes you look attractive. Makes you look attractive. It's going to help you find sexual companions. Why do people want to get new clothes all the time? Why do men want to get a nice fade like me to be more attractive to their sexual partner? Now, I have a girlfriend, so I'm just doing it for this video. <laughs> the second life force is comfortable living conditions. People innately want to live in a comfortable space. That's why people buy new furniture, nice cushions, cool things for their home because they spend most of their time at home They want to live comfortably. Another simple one, enjoyment of food and beverages. Pretty straightforward. People like to enjoy food, so that's a big desire. Number four, I'm going to pull a status or keeping up with people, right? Keeping up with the Joneses. You want to buy a fresh rolly. You want to get a nice car. What's the desire for that? You want to elevate your status. You want to appear more superior. A very nice one. Love for others, care for others, right? That's why people buy. That's why people buy gifts. That's why a lot of marketing angles are. Your boyfriend will love this, or I got my girlfriend this thing, and she loved me so much after this. Six. Freedom of fear and pain, right? People want to run away from pain. What do they want to seek? Pleasure is being tested. Seven will be survival and life extension. They want to live longer. People want to look healthier so they they feel like they live longer. They want to eat healthy. Well, at least they desire to eat healthy to live longer. Most people don't do it. They want to take pills. They're gonna be able to increase their longevity, but at the same time, that desire is battling with enjoyment of food and beverages or status. And these things can actually counteract each other. You might want to enjoy food, but at the expense of survival and living longer, that's why you got to think of very good angle to fight that. And the last one, very important, is social approval. Now, we are biologically programmed to follow all of these desires, but the social approval one is so that we feel like we're part of a community, part of a pack. We are like this group of people. We don't want to be abandoned. We don't want to be alone. And a lot of marketing angles for social approval make people want to be part of a specific group, a specific category. Now, this all sounds very like up in the air and whatnot, but from the book, Cash Advertising, I'm gonna show you how I apply this in the videos in my agency. So for example, I have a product and that is a hair dryer, okay? A hair dryer, it blows air, okay? And this hair dryer targeted, targeted at mums. Why? Because one of the features is that it's very quick and you can have different settings, right? One for your daughter, one for you. You can easily switch between them. Okay, now using the social approval desire, we can do a, a, a caption text in the hook says why moms are switching to this hairdryer. And this is something called the bandwagon effect as well. It's like, oh, I'm a mom. I identify as a mom. I want to switch to this hairdryer too. Give me the reasons why. And if the reasons from the features, benefits, all line up, then they're going to want to take action. Okay. So that's just how we use one of the eight life forces, right? New age editor vibes, all right? You see? You see, this is, this is like next level shit, bro. Fucking, I got an engineering degree. Quick interruption. If you want me to personally review your videos, then you want to join my private community, VP Plus. In VP Plus, we have five coaching calls every single week where we teach you how to get clients, how to do the blue path, which is getting clients through Twitter, mindset calls, fun Q&A and hangout. <laughs> Most importantly, every Friday, I personally review the videos of everybody inside the community. I give you tips on how to improve the videos, Not just in terms of the editing pizzazz, but also in a way that is gonna help you get your clients results, which is what they pay you for. And as a bonus, if you join the community, you also get access to our entire courses on how to land clients, my speed ramping masterclass, color grading masterclass that nobody has seen here. And also the opportunity for special guest calls like we have had with Brian Delimata, Nate Wells, and a whole bunch of others. So if you wanna join the fastest growing video editing community in the world right now, then click the link down below. I'll see you then. Now, the last one, which nobody actually talks about, and I, hopefully I'm the first one ever. If not, then whatever, I don't care. You know, not, it's not about being the first, it's about being different. The next one is having a good pulse on the market. What does that mean? It means to switch from being a consumer of content, someone who just blindly scrolls TikTok and just watches videos for entertainment, to actually becoming a 
producer, right? A creator, someone who creates more than they consume. Okay. Now, the way that I do is I curate a playlist. I have different playlists on my phone, on my Instagram, on my YouTube, on my TikTok of videos that I have watched and studied and thought, okay, cool. This will be good for this purpose. This is a very good video that can be used for this desire. Okay, you wanna have a library. You wanna indoctrinate yourself you know, in your brain, download and put into folders what kind of video content will actually bring results for people and then find these people that can then become your clients and they'll pay for it. You can use sites like My Ad Finder to find ads, Meta Ads Library. You can go on TikTok and sort by most viewed to see where the attention is actually going. You want to study the market from an outside perspective, not just be a consumer. Just consume, consume, consume. And then, oh, you gotta, you gotta make a video now? Okay, let me just edit because this is a tutorial that I watched from Camilla. Okay, edit, 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 cool, done. Consume, consume, consume. You wanna switch your brain so you have an act pulse as to what is working in the market. A lot of you guys will just blindly jump into an edit and not knowing what's really gonna be a good video that's gonna work for a specific niche and for a specific set of people. Now, there is a lot more to this, way more to this, but this is just the baseline. And I actually gave you some ways that you can improve all of these skills and become a new age editor. And not to only rely on making fancy videos and then getting paid for the subjective view of your video. Now you can go and learn this all yourself. You can go and read the books and watch the videos. But if you wanna be surrounded by actual new age editors, get taught exactly how to find your clients when they do. Now the private community VP Plus, we have countless examples of people that have followed this process and become new age video editors. Now this is just part of the skills you need to download. I haven't even talked about the method of getting the clients. And we have people like Rio, who's now making 10K a month as a new age editor. We have people like Solomon, who just hit 4K a month as a video editor. People who were before only editing videos, making things fancy and outputting, 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 going into the rat race and relying on job boards and their portfolio to get clients. And instead they decided to upskill themselves so they can actually help the people they're doing the videos for to make more money. And as a result, they get paid a lot more. Now, if you want a free training, I left the link down below which is just a whole free document on exactly how I get clients, how you can get your first few clients all within two weeks. And hopefully this video brought you some value, it was slightly different, probably longer. Hopefully I got your attention span. And if I didn't, then you might wanna watch this video right here. A bit more entertaining, and it shows you what I would do if I had to start from absolute zero. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one.